the truth is that the very man who said these words, truly, this was the Son of God. And as Luke records it, certainly, this was a righteous man. The very man who said those words was responsible for much of the abuse that Christ Jesus went through. The soldiers, they're the ones who stripped him of his garment and and put on the robe and mocked him. They are the ones who chastised him and beat him. They are the ones that hammered the nails in his flesh and his hands and his feet. He was the man who was in charge of it all. And uh, the thing is, this wasn't the first time this had happened. This was common practice. Crucifixions went on there all the time. There had been many people hung on those crosses. And to them, it was just a, a part of another day, kind of a, the routine. This is what we do. But that day, something was different about that day. Now, they didn't realize it in the beginning. In the beginning, they, they saw this uh, beleaguered uh, man who had been beaten and abused and, and who was so weak he couldn't even pick up that cross. They saw all that. It didn't mean anything to them. They were almost at a place in their life to where they, they really didn't have any feelings anymore. They'd seen so much. But that day, something different about that day. And of course, we know that uh, that day was like no other day in history. There's never been a day like that day. Because truly, as Scripture declares that it says, in the fullness of time, in the fullness of time, God sent his son, Jesus Christ, to die on a cross of Calvary. God knew that time from the very, very beginning. He knew the very moment, the very hour, the very second. And it's a turning point in the history of mankind. It was at that point in history that uh, the work that God had foreordained would take place was accomplished. From that point on, we as Christians have been able to benefit from the forgiveness that has come forth through the work of the ministry of Jesus Christ to where we can bow our hearts and bow our knees before God and we can confess our sins and ask God to forgive us of our sins that the price for our sins would be paid. And indeed they were that day. But you see, the centurion, he didn't know all of that. He didn't know anything about that. He saw them ridicule him and put the sign up there. This is the king of the Jews. They saw, or he saw them put the crown on his head. It didn't mean anything to him. But yet, something was happening. And many times, and this is so glorious, there are things happening in the hearts of people and they don't realize it at first, but they see something begin to change. And that is the work, the power, the ministry of the Holy Spirit of God who loves humanity. You and I, all of those he loves and is also, also wooing, drawing us in to him. This is Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast.